All right, so 95% of you, I'm betting, are Iron Man fans. Or maybe you're not an Iron Man fan, but you've seen him in movies, you've seen him in the Avengers, you've seen him in pretty much every single merchandise to ever grace the walls of a Walmart. And the man who plays Iron Man is, of course, Robert Downey Jr., who is, from what I remember about some metrics on revenue, he is one of the most well-paid and highest paid actors in all of Hollywood. A lot of people know him as this fantastic character with fun sarcasm and fun wit, but the truth is he had some significant hardships when he was younger. And the story of Robert Downey Jr. is one of the stories that intrigues me the most when it comes to celebrities, and that's going to be something that I'm going to be dipping into in today's episode of Stories with Grady. Welcome to another episode of Stories with Grady where I talk about stories. So today we're gonna to be talking about Robert Downey Jr. as mentioned. So the thing is a lot of people may or may not know, but when he was younger, he actually had some significant problems with dealing with drugs, with slightly dealing with alcohol, and with letting these addictions begin to overtake his life. Um, the interesting thing about his life is from a very, very young age, uh, he was introduced to drugs. He was six years old when his dad introduced him to drugs as a way for the two of them to bond. That in and of itself is so sad to have someone, an authority figure that you believe wants the best for you to give you something that will actually create addiction and harm in the future of your life as a way to bond. And it's so sad when I hear about young kids who have bad things happen to them by trusted figures and it really makes me mad. So. This is the beginning, the origins of Robert Downey Jr.'s story. Now, from a very young age, so at six, he was introduced to drugs, and he says that by the age of eight, he was addicted to those drugs. As he grew up, he began getting roles in acting because of his family's connections to the acting world. And he started getting roles and roles and roles, but he began maturing, and the drugs started having a sincere, actual effect on him. The thing I want you to remember during all of this is that even through all the turmoil that I'm going to mention that he went through, he ended up becoming one of the most highest paid actors of all time. So anyway, he was given a lot of shots when he was younger, but what started happening was that the drugs started getting in the way of his career. He'd be filming something and then, oh, he'd be needing to go to rehab. And then, oh, the person who forced him to go to rehab, his agent, I believe, he said, oh, agent, you're fired. I don't want you to tell me what to do and I don't want you to tell me how to cure my life and I am not going to be controlled by you, so you're out of here. I don't want you in my life. And he continued on the cycle of film something, get some grace from Hollywood, and then boom, go right back to addiction. You know, sometimes he'd sober up for a film, but he wasn't able to sober up enough. And it became a very big struggle for him in order to overcome it. One of his biggest struggles was the decision to overcome it. Every overcoming story starts with a decision, and that's what Robert Downey Jr. really needed. Got to the point where he went to court, then he went to rehab, then he escaped the rehab, and then because he escaped the rehab, they sent him to jail. Once he got out of jail for a while, then he was caught speeding right down Sunset Boulevard with cocaine in his car, with heroin in his car, and I think even a gun in his car, who knows where he was going. And because of all that, he went to prison. This isn't just one moment, you have to realize, I'm telling this story very fast, but this is years and years and years of Robert Downey Jr struggling with drugs and getting an acting gig and losing an acting gig because of his drugs and going to jail, going to rehab, getting out, making the same mistakes. And he's just in this constant cycle of downwardly becoming someone that he didn't want to become. Now he's in jail, he is in prison, he gets beat by his fellow inmates, he gets put in solitary confinement. He's washing pizza pans for eight cents an hour. Eight cents an hour, he went from Eight cents an hour in jail. It's one of the most well-paid people in probably the history of the world, or at least in Hollywood. And even after he got out of jail, it wasn't smooth sailing from there. Part of this conflict led to, from my understanding, his first divorce, which is so sad. And when he eventually met a woman that he fell in love with and she fell in love with him, she said, I will not marry you if you do not control this habit and if you do not get control of this. And it's at this moment when his career was literally in the slums where people wouldn't hire him in Hollywood and this woman is saying, I do love you, but I don't love this part of you. You need to overcome it. He decided, all right, this is something that I need to do. I'm actually going to decide to do. So he goes out to the ocean. He takes you know, all the necrotics that he has. 
he whips it into the ocean and he says, I am done with this. He later said in an interview that it was this decision, this moment to decide to become a different person that his whole life changed. And maybe not everyone can relate to this aspect of what Robert Downey Jr. said, but he said the hardest part of overcoming the struggle was making the decision to say no. And he said, on the side, and this is actually what he said, he said when he was pursuing these worldly things, he had this emptiness, this void inside of his heart. And he said that part of his growth was the desire and need to overcome these narcotics. When he was able to prove himself, he was given more chances. Not everyone was willing to believe in him after his long history, but small amount of people decided to go out of their way to believe in this man. And because of the additional pushes that he took to overcome something that he had been introduced to at the age of six from his own father, he was able to become the man that he had always wanted to be. And obviously he's still on a constant state of growth, but ever since this period, I think in the mid 2000s, early 2000s, he has never really touched drugs again. And according to him, he hasn't even had the inkling or the push to. During one of his interviews, he said just that. So here's why I share this story and here's why I find this so exciting is that obviously, you know, you know, from 2008 on, he got a character, a role that totally changed his life. But what I wanna to say to you is looking back in the midst of his struggle where he had lost everything, where Hollywood had not believed in him at all, where his love of his life did not believe in him at all, and where he probably didn't even believe in himself at all, where he's washing pizza pans at, for eight cents an hour, where he's in solitary confinement, where he's being beaten by inmates. Like you can at least imagine that this man is like down in the dumps and he doesn't think that his life is going to likely lead anywhere. And he feels probably a lot of shame. I know some people in my life, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail with this, but I know some people who have gotten in trouble with the law and who have gone through similar hardships and who have been introduced to horrible things at a young age and they have had this addiction from a young age because someone that they trusted decided to introduce them to it. And I know other people too who got in trouble with the law later down the line who maybe decided to get involved with something that was detrimental to their bodies because maybe it helped them cope with something or maybe it helped them feel better in the moment but ultimately they realized this is not really helping me if i am reliant on this to be happy some of them have had to come to this moment where they said is this who i want to be is this the trajectory that i want my life to go down and it's interesting because that decision is ultimately up to you, the person who's watching this video. You decide how your life turns out. You decide where your life will go. You decide your future path. Sometimes it's hard making the decision in the moment of overcoming something that you struggle with. But the day after, you still might wanna do it. Day after that, you still might wanna do it. But keep pushing, keep saying no, no, no. And eventually Robert Downey Jr. was able to get to the point where he's able to look back at that hard struggle and he's able to say, wow, I overcame that. And he says the struggle wasn't even that hard once he made that decision, like the firm decision, I'm not going to struggle with this anymore. So here's my question. What are you deciding to do today to improve your future? What are you deciding to get rid of? What area are you hoping to improve in? I wanna know these things in the comments. And if you don't wanna share it in the comments, at least write down a comment to yourself. I am deciding to get better at this. X thing today. I'm gonna to link a video in the bio right below and you can listen to it. It's about Robert Downey Jr. discussing some of this. It's about five, six minutes. And I highly recommend that you listen to it if you're struggling with overcoming something that you don't necessarily like that's in your life. I've seen so many people other than Robert Downey Jr. overcome struggles, overcome hardships. And I know that you can too if you decide to do it. Am I saying it's gonna be easy like Robert Downey Jr. says below? No, not necessarily. However, the hardship was for him to make that decision. And that's what all overcoming stories start with. And that's what your story can start with too. All right, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope you learned and took away something from Robert Downey Jr. His story is one of my favorite stories because it shows that when you decide to grow as a person, it can lead to a lot of great things in your life. However, it starts with you growing as a person. Anyway, have a fantastic day. Be sure to subscribe below for other stories with Grady. And that's all I got for you. Peace out.